Welcome to Herb Nerd TV. Today, we're diving into a heated and long-standing debate in the world of nutrition and food safety, raw milk. Advocates praise raw milk as a nutrient-rich superfood offering a host of health benefits, while opponents warn of serious bacterial risks associated with its consumption. Is raw milk a wholesome, natural choice or a hazardous gamble? Join us as we explore the science, health claims, risks, legal considerations, and perspectives on both sides of the raw milk debate to help you make an informed decision. What is raw milk? Raw milk is milk from cows, goats, sheep, or other animals that has not been pasteurized, a heat treatment process that kills harmful bacteria. It goes straight from the animal to the consumer with minimal processing, sometimes after filtering or cooling. Pasteurization 1. Invented by Louis Pasteur in the 19th century. 2. Involves heating milk to a specific temperature for a set period to eliminate pathogens. 3. Standard practice in many countries to ensure milk safety. Nutritional profile of raw milk advocates claim raw milk offers. 1. Higher nutrient content. Preserves enzymes, vitamins, and minerals that may be reduced during pasteurization. 2. Beneficial enzymes. Lactase enzyme may aid in lactose digestion. 3. Healthy fats. Contains omega-3 fatty acids and conjugated linoleic acid, CLA. 4. Probiotics. Presence of beneficial bacteria that support gut health. 5. Better taste. Described as richer and creamier than pasteurized milk. Potential health benefits. 1. Improved digestive health. 1. Lactose intolerance relief. Some individuals report better tolerance due to natural enzymes. 2. Probiotic support. Beneficial bacteria may aid in digestion and immune function. 2. Enhanced nutrient absorption. 1. Enzyme activity. Enzymes like lipase and phosphatase may improve fat and mineral absorption. 3. Allergy reduction. 1. Immune modulation. Exposure to farm environments and raw milk in childhood linked to lower allergy and asthma rates in some studies, the farm effect. 4. Skin health. 1. Anti-inflammatory properties. Nutrients in raw milk may contribute to healthier skin. Scientific evidence and research nutrient content comparison. 1. Studies show. Minimal differences in vitamin and mineral content between raw and pasteurized milk. Pasteurization may slightly reduce certain heat-sensitive vitamins, e.g., vitamin C, B vitamins, but milk is not a significant source of these nutrients. Enzymes and probiotics. 1. Enzyme activity. Enzymes in raw milk are largely broken down in the human digestive system and may not have significant functional benefits. 2. Probiotic claims. Raw milk contains bacteria, but the strains and amounts vary and are unpredictable. Allergy and Asthma Research 1. Farm Studies Some observational studies suggest a protective effect against allergies in children consuming raw milk. 2. Limitations Confounding factors like overall farm exposure and lifestyle make it difficult to isolate raw milk as the cause. 3. No causal proof More research is needed to establish a direct link. Risks and dangers of raw milk pathogenic bacteria 1. Common pathogens found in raw milk. Salmonella, E. coli, Listeria monocytogenes, Campylobacter, Brucella potential health impacts. 1. Foodborne illnesses. Symptoms range from diarrhea and vomiting to severe complications like kidney failure. 2. High risk groups. Children, pregnant women, the elderly, and immunocompromised individuals are more susceptible to severe illness. 3. Outbreaks and data. CDC reports indicate that raw milk is responsible for a disproportionate number of dairy-related foodborne outbreaks. Case Studies 1. Listeria outbreaks. Linked to severe illness and fatalities, particularly affecting pregnant women and newborns. 2. E. coli O157 infections can lead to hemolytic uremic syndrome, HUS, causing kidney failure. Regulatory Landscape United States 1. Federal regulations. Interstate sale of raw milk for human consumption is prohibited by the FDA. 2. 
State laws. Vary widely. Some states allow retail sales, others permit farm sales, while some ban raw milk sales entirely. International regulations. 1. European Union. Raw milk sales are legal, with strict hygiene standards. 2. Australia. Raw milk sales are illegal, only pasteurized milk is permitted. 3. Canada. Sale of raw milk is prohibited nationwide. Quality control and safety measures raw milk advocates practices. 1. Herd health monitoring. Regular testing for diseases in animals. 2. Sanitary milking procedures clean equipment and environments to reduce contamination. 3. Rapid cooling and storage. Maintaining low temperatures to inhibit bacterial growth. 4. Consumer education. Informing customers about proper handling and storage. Limitations. 1. No guarantee of safety. Even with precautions, raw milk can still harbor harmful pathogens. 2. Testing limitations. Bacterial contamination can occur intermittently, making it difficult to detect consistently. Alternatives and compromises Low temperature pasteurization 1. Vat pasteurization. Heating milk to lower temperatures for longer periods to preserve more nutrients while killing pathogens. Ultra-pasteurized and microfiltered milk. 1. Extended shelf life. Higher temperatures kill more bacteria but may affect taste and nutrients. Fermented dairy products. 1. Yogurt and kefir. Pasteurized milk fermented with probiotic cultures provides beneficial bacteria with reduced risk. Consumer considerations risk assessment. 1. Weighing benefits versus risks. Consider personal health status and susceptibility to foodborne illnesses. Informed decisions. 1. Understanding regulations. Be aware of local laws and regulations regarding raw milk sales. Proper handling. 1. Storage. Keep raw milk refrigerated at or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. 2. Shelf life. Consume within a few days to minimize bacterial growth. Conclusion. Nutrient-rich superfood or bacterial risk. The raw milk debate presents valid points on both sides. While raw milk may offer certain sensory qualities and potential benefits, these are not conclusively supported by scientific evidence. The risks associated with consuming raw milk, particularly the potential for serious foodborne illnesses, are well documented. Key takeaways. 1. Health risks are significant. Vulnerable populations should avoid raw milk due to the risk of severe illness. 2. Nutritional differences are minimal. Pasteurized milk provides similar nutritional value without the same level of risk. 3. Informed choice is essential. Consumers should thoroughly understand the risks and benefits before consuming raw milk. Thank you for watching Herb Nerd TV. We hope this in-depth exploration has provided clarity on the raw milk debate. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more evidence-based discussions on health and nutrition topics. We'd love to hear your thoughts, have you tried raw milk? Share your experiences or questions in the comments below. Stay informed, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.